All right, so we're going to start trying to do reactions to trailers as well on the channel. There's a lot of stuff I'm trying to do, so it's just craziness, craziness, craziness. Um, so we're going to check out Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, Quantumania. And I'm going to stop it a couple times to maybe go over uh, ideas or what I think is going on. Um but yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Um, hopefully, it won't be uh, that silly, and everything will work out. So far as we know, Cassie created a device. It's weird that Cassie has that much knowledge to do this. That's like a big brain thing. But somehow to get into the quantum realm. And from what I'm getting or reading, uh, this Kang wants out of the quantum realm. He's not happy to be there. That's weird. Oh, I do not like her hair. And then there we had Modok uh, in human form. All the all the other ones look real. I thought the robot one looked really cool, but I'm guessing that's a mask. That looked like Modok, but has a robot. Big mouth, uh, big eyes. Um, that just looked like Alex Cross, right? Is that his name, Alex Cross? I think that's right. Uh, as just a big head floating. Don't know how well that will play in movies. Uh, people are going to be okay with that. Um, we'll see. Because people are going to maybe make fun of it. Uh, like they did Human Adult Son and uh, Love and Thunder. Comes out way quicker than I expect. This movie's going to be a trip. This looks like it's going to be really, really big. Like apocalyptic. I kind of like that. I kind of like that we're seeing Kang in the... OG suit and we know this king isn't the kings that we've seen so far um, this is going to be a different king and possibly not even the king we're going to see in uh, future movies uh, unless they do the council of kings maybe they'll all come back but uh, yeah this looks like it's going to be a big epic story for an Ant-Man movie I have a feeling Wasp is going to die that's kind of my bet I think Ant-Man will stay around There's our full Modoc. Jeez. It's too much of a given to look like a god. He looks so good. He looks so good. No, a little kicker at the end. He looks so good. I really like how Kang looks. Oh my god, that is ridiculous. They're they're putting too much on the nose, like they did with Rocket in the Guardians trailer, where it looks like he is gonna die, and I don't think Rocket's gonna die. I think Rocket could have a future in the MCU as an Avenger, because if you really think about it, Endgame he was an Avenger. He was with the Avengers on the Endgame trip. I think he. 
even in the comics, should be moved over to an Avenger because Rocket's such a cool, unique character. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk back to Ant-Man. Uh, I think it's too on the nose looking like Ant-Man's going to die, and I don't believe he'll die. I will believe, I believe if anyone dies, it'll be Wasp or uh, the original Ant-Man. Uh, I, I want to keep saying Kurt Douglas. I, I, Michael Douglas, Kurt Douglas, there's a bunch of Douglas. Uh, but Hank Pym. I think Hank Pym will bite it. Or Janet Pym. Janet Van Dyden. Uh, I believe Janet will die. Or uh, Hank. But we'll see. I Trailer didn't go too far in depth with the story. I thought it was going to tell you a lot more of what's going on. Oh, you know. I want this. I want that. No Bill Murray. Um, we know Bill Murray's playing a big part. Um, supposedly he's running... Uh, uh, some kind of army they're the ones that were rebelling fighting back um, from the leaks I've read it was this big fight at the end with a bunch of ants but those are a bunch of ant man so I can assume that's near the end and those look like don't look like ants so it's really weird that there would be a bunch of ant mans I don't get if we'd have variants and stuff I'm really tired of the variant excuse so now we got a million of different characters but other than that it's really cool to see Kang and, and especially Ant-Man in this bigger scope it's definitely a bigger deal uh, his movie's not just a filler in the MCU like oh Ant-Man just tells his own story and then he jumps into the bigger stories this looks like it's gonna connect two bigger stories and then on top of it it looks like, uh, you know, with Kang, it's huge. And I'm so pumped up to see Kang again. Um, this Kang looks very interesting. He looks uh, very cool. Very cool throwback. Gives me that very first Secret Wars from the 80s, how he would look in that that design vibe. I mean, it was his 80s vibe, I guess you could call it. But he comes back and... Using the recent Venom storyline looking like that. But I don't know. I'm excited. So hopefully we can keep doing these uh, reactions to trailers and stuff like that. Anything we need to react to. Um, maybe I'll have other people on it with me. Um, but yeah, that's my reaction to it. It looks really good. Uh, hopefully it'll pay off. Uh, the MODOK thing, I don't know if people are going to slide on. They might make fun of it. Uh, the Snyderverse people that are like crazy trying to get it to go to Netflix. They might... Uh, be the ones that are really targeting it but we'll see we'll definitely see but uh till then thank you guys for watching like subscribe share check out our podcast we have the best there is one uh best there is podcast that covers the pop culture and then we have life is full of it where it's just the guys and i talking about life and all kinds of crazy stuff that goes on with it and then um i think we're gonna do some after show stuff um once all these shows start picking up soon we're going to start doing some after show, talking about what happened, uh, maybe the day after, maybe the night. I doubt the night because I watch a lot of them super late uh, when they air. So the next day, um, if it's just me or if it's other people. But yeah, check out what we're going to keep doing. Thank you guys so much if you do check it out. And that will do it. Take it easy.